Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. This is decimals part 7. We'll be adding and subtracting decimals containing both positive and negative integers. This is part 1, mainly covering addition. So you already need to know how to add and subtract with integers and with decimals since this video combines these two topics. And we do the following problems on this video. We'll do more subtraction on the next video. All right, let's add these decimals. Notice they're both negative numbers, negative 3.4 plus negative 5.31. So when you add two negatives, you know the answer is going to be negative, correct? And then you add the absolute values of each of those numbers. In other words, take off the negative sign and add. And they both happen to be decimals, so I need to line up the decimal points. So over here, I'm going to figure out what that would be, 3.4 and 5.31, and that'll give me 8.71. So the answer to this is negative 8.71. So when you're adding two negative decimals, basically you still just get to add the numbers ignoring the negative sign and the answer is going to be negative. That comes from the rules for adding two negative numbers. So try this problem on your own. Let's see, sorry. Right, so we've got negative 14 plus negative 5.32 plus negative 12.6. Put the video on pause and try that on your own. All right, so same thing, they're all negative. So I could just, I know the answer is going to be negative, and we just need to put all these numbers together lining up the decimals. So remember the 14, there's a decimal after the 14, and we have 5.32, we have 12.6. And if we add those all up, remember, you could put the extra zeros here. I didn't do it on this top one. I usually fill in that extra zero, but I'm going to do it here. So this will be, that's a 2, that's a 9, that's where the decimal point goes. 9, 10, 11, carry the one, 31.92. But I'm adding negative numbers, so my answer is negative 31 and 92 hundredths. So that's how we deal, it, deal with adding all negative numbers that are happen to be decimals. Let's see what happens if we're adding a positive and a negative. So here's an example, negative 14.3 plus 6.8. All right, now, how do you add when one number is negative and one number is positive? Remember, you see which is the bigger number. There Are there more negatives or more positives? Basically, that same, what's the biggest absolute value? And this is the 14.3 are more negatives. So this answer is going to be negative something. So that's the first thing to realize. Secondly, then you subtract, you take the difference of the two numbers. So remember, if you're adding two numbers where the signs are different, you take their difference, which means you take the bigger number, 14.3, and you subtract the 6.8. So that's what we end up doing to get this answer. So let's go ahead and do that subtraction. That's going to be 5, 7, so we've got 7.5. But that's 14.3 minus 6.8. Remember, the answer is going to be negative 7.5. All right, so here's one for you to try. All right, we've got negative 32 and 46 hundredths plus 16 and 31 hundredths. And notice again, we're adding a negative number and a positive number, so the rule's going to be the same. I'm just going to make this over to the left. So we have room to write. The answer is going to be, well, are there more negatives or positives here? There are more negatives, so the answer is going to be negative. And then decide negative what? What's that going to be? Put the video on pause and try it on your own. 
All right, so then we take their difference. So that's 5, 1, 6, 1, 16.15. I think I still am running out of space here. There you go on the video. There we go. So the answer is negative 16 and 15 hundredths. So hopefully you got that answer. Okay, let's try another one. All right, we've got, again, we're adding a negative to a positive number. So which is bigger? Well, here I've got, look at the whole number part. I have a negative 4, but I have a positive 6, so there's going to be more positive. So this answer is going to be positive. You don't need to write the positive sign there, but I'm just doing it so I remember it when I do the rest of the problem. Now, since you're adding different signs, you have to take their difference. So you have to take the big number minus the smaller number. So we have 6.8 minus 4.08, and remember when you're subtracting what you have to do, you've got to put that zero here. Don't forget that zero before you subtract. So now let's go ahead and subtract. So let's see, that'll be a seven, so that gives me two, seven, two. So my answer is 2.72. Positive sign not needed, but the answer is a positive number, not a negative number. All right, how about one more for good measure? All right, so we have 63.4 plus negative 219. All right, so figure that one out on your own. Okay, the first thing I notice is, is this going to be, am I adding with two opposite signs? And I am. And so the negatives are going to win out here, right? There's more negatives than positives. So the answer is going to be negative. And then what do we do? We do the bigger number minus the smaller number. We're taking their difference. So I've got 219 minus 63.4. And remember, you're going to have to put this extra zero here. Don't forget to do that. And then we go ahead and subtract. So that's a 4, 5, this will be 15. So my answer is, I think I'm going to run out of space right there. So I'm going to say equals, and we decided it was negative 155.6. All right, how about this problem? We've got negative 16.1 plus 35.29 plus negative 8.34. Now we're adding two negative numbers and a positive number. You can either add left to right, add the first two, see what you get, and then take your answer and add the third one. I usually like to add the, the negative numbers together first and the positive numbers together first. So I'm going to add these two numbers together first. Since they're both negative, I know I'm going to get negative something, right? And so I take it over on the side here, I'm going to do the work, the 16.1 and the 8.34, and put in that extra zero. So I'm going to get 24.44. So these two, negative 16.1 and negative 8.34, when I add those together, I get negative 24.44. But I still have to add the plus the 35.29. So now I'm adding a negative and a positive. So now I decide, is this going to be a positive or a negative number? Because I'm adding different signs and they're more positives. So the answer is going to be positive. So now my final answer is going to be positive. I'm going to just put that there temporarily. And then we take their difference. So difference means subtract. So I take 35.29 minus 24. 0.44, and we go ahead and subtract. See, that's 5. That's 8, 0, 1. So I have positive 10.85 for the answer. Okay, let's do a subtraction problem. 8.32 minus 10.945. All right, now, if this number over to the right was smaller than 
0.32, we would just do our regular subtraction um, and line up the decimals, right? When you subtract two positive numbers um, and you're taking a bigger number minus a smaller, no problem. But here, 10.945 is smaller than 8.32. So we want to rewrite subtraction as adding the opposite. So this is 8.32 plus a negative 10.945. And now, we're adding a positive and a negative number, so they're different signs, so we say which has got, which is bigger, there's more negative, so the answer is going to be negative. And then we go over to the right here and do our regular subtraction, take the big number minus the smaller number. I'm just going to add that extra zero. And we get negative 2.625. Okay, we're going to do some more subtraction and addition with decimals and positive and negative numbers on the next video. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.